Alright you guys, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I have not done a palette roulette in a long time. And so, and I just recorded a full declutter series that is going up in February. Um, So I was going through my wheel and I was like, I don't have that, I don't have that. And then I had so many that I've gotten in like Busy Beauty, BoxyCharm that, that I bought or an ice cream. And I just started a whole new wheel just started a whole new wheel deleted the old one started a whole new one and i really want to get back into doing the palette roulettes i took a shower i'm letting my hair serum sit in um until like my hair's dry because i want that kind of like you know like natural wavy texture type of look i think some people call it like a scrunched look i don't know but I just went through and did a whole new wheel on my iPad. As you can see, I got all my palettes out on my bed. Bunch of extras I have there. Um, so we're going to spin the wheel. We're going to see what palette we get. And then I'm going to come back after I've done like my base face and did something with this hair of mine. Um, I don't know if I end up going for a scrunch look. I mean, I might just straighten it. Um, and then we will do an eye look with whatever palette we got. So, I'm going to flip you guys around, um, and show you guys, like, my iPad screen so you guys can see it. One second. Alright, I gotta start a new clip. It won't let me flip it around while I'm recording. So, I'm going to start a new clip and I'll, we'll spin the wheel. Um... And see what palette we get. Hopefully something kind of natural. Not too, 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 too bold. Because I'm leaving my first Girl Scout meeting tonight because the other leader's daughter is sick. So I'm taking point on the meeting tonight and um kind of nervous. The Elf Cream and Sugar. I'm pretty sure that's one of the mini ones I have. So, let's see what it looks like. Alright, so the Elf Cream and Sugar, I have never used it. It looks like this. I asked for neutrals, and the Palette Roulette delivered neutrals. So, let me do something with this hair, put on my base face, and I will show you guys a simple natural look using this Elf Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette that you can literally get at Walmart. I think they're like three or four dollars so let's do it all right you guys i'm back i actually curled my hair today i didn't i know i mentioned scrunching it and i mentioned straightening it i actually curled it and tested out some new hair products i've gotten recently um so far i like them they definitely helped my curls a little bit but I already did this eye with the palette we got when we spin the wheel. It was the Cream and Sugar Elf palette. I already did this eye. Um, just because I wanted to play around, see exactly what kind of look I was going to go for with this palette. Um, so I kind of already dived into it. But I'm going to show you guys what I did. And I kind of did it, it more bolder. Like you could tell. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. You, you can definitely do a more very very simple look with this using only one or two colors but i did use all four colors in this palette um, and i'm gonna show you guys what i did so i took this first shade right here and i'm gonna kind of use you guys as a mirror and i just tapped that all over the lid into the crease to kind of set the base just like so and then what i did was if i can find that freaking brush right here um i went into this dark shade and i kind of just started 
I'm looking up at the mirror. Sorry, y'all. I kind of just popped that on that outer corner. Just like that. And we're going to fix it. It looks a little bit crazy right now. But we're going to fix it. And then I kind of took it down into the crease. Like that. And we're going to blend it all together and fix it. And then I took this shimmery shade. And I popped this right on top of that darker brown color and then I went in with this shimmery shade and uh, that is what I put on my lid just like so okay and then that's when I kind of took this blending brush and started blending like all the colors together pretty much just like so and then sometimes it takes a little bit of the shimmer away so I'm gonna go back into that light shimmer shade and kind of just pop that back in place a little bit just like that and then what I did was I took a brown eyeliner and popped that in my waterline just like that and then I went back in with the leftover dark shade from this brush and kind of smoked it in with that liner a little bit and then I kind of took some shimmer and this oh god I keep doing that and then I go back in with this and this is the shade I'm going to add to that inner corner into that brow bone just like that I'm going to throw some mascara on and it's going to look like that um, I'm going to throw some mascara on um, some highlight and some lips and I'll come back and I'll show you guys what products I use but yeah we just used a little elf mini palette today and I hope if you guys have this or if you don't and you're just not getting any makeup I do recommend these the shades in these elf bite size palettes are very pigmented and can create some beautiful beautiful looks sometimes like you literally could just go in with like this color or you could just go in with the shimmer like you could just go in with like one color and it's still gonna look beautiful so let me finish the rest of my face and I'll come back and show you guys all the products that I used all right you guys so this is the finished look go in with this I have put setting spray on there kind of want to set it a little bit more but so obviously the eyeshadow we used was the cream and sugar elf bite size for primer I used the elf putty primer for the first time today and I think I have my new primer that I'm obsessed with like it's literally amazing mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um for concealer i did the color pop no filter for foundation i did the mary Kay time wise luminous wear foundation and let's say to contour i did this dark concealer as like a cream bronzer eyeshadow pigment i put that down um i set my foundation with the pharmacy face perfecting powder um for cream 
one second. For cream blush and highlight, I did that cream blush and that highlight. Um, and then this is the highlighter that I use to set the cream highlight. I use the Maybelline Fit Me to set my concealer. Um, I used these two shades from the Pharmacy Blush Palette. Um, I used this bronzer. Um, for mascara, I did the Extreme Curl Mascara by Pharmacy. I used brown eyeliner. And then for my brows, I did the Tint and Sculpt. Um, Groom and Sculpt Tinted Brow Gel and the Elf Brow Pencil. And um, for lips, I did Pharmacy Lip Pencil in 222. And then I did this BB Lipstick and Shade. It doesn't have a shade on it, but I think it's shade 02. Um, and I set everything with the Mavin Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this palette roulette. We did something simple, but I did a little bolder look than what I normally do. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead to pick up all the paperwork and stuff I need to leave my first Girl Scout meeting tonight. So I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this makeup look. Also let me know down in the comments if you have this e.l.f. by size palette. Um, and I will see you guys. Um, in my next video. Ah, adios.